Hi, welcome to JMeta Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss bean cell assertion. Okay, how to use bean cell assertion. Okay, so what is this bean cell assertion means? Bean cell assertion, it is a verification type with the help of coding. We are going to verify whether the your HTTP or particular sample request is passed or not. Okay. When coming to bean cell assertion, so bean cell it is a scripting part. So JMeter is providing different different methods to run your bean cell scripting. So if you have seen uh, JMeter methods, it is uh, giving this different different methods. So that you can use those methods in a scripting part. See, like get response data string. This is a method. It contains this is a method. This logger dot info is a method. Failure is a method. But different different methods they are giving. If you open this JMeter dot org sample sample result dot html, is given the construction method. See, add assertion result. Assertion result, assert result, add something different, different. See, clone, clean after sample, clean, create test sample, create a sample with a specific elapsed time for test purpose, but don't allow the times to be changed after. See, it is giving different, different methods. Get ideal time, get latency. Okay, get response headers, response message. So everything it is giving the different get URLs. Okay, they, they are giving different different URLs. Sorry, methods. See, so I am using get get response data as a string. See here it is giving get response data as a string. Just to get the response data of the sample result object as a string. And what I'm doing, I'm storing that in uh, <coughs> get response data as a string into one string variable. So the I'm verifying that string variable with particular message. Okay, if it is pass, then it will display bean cell assertion is pass. Okay, if it is fail, it will display failure. This is true. Failure not a valid string. Assertion is fail. If you run this program, see see how it will run this program. Okay, just save, center. It will get a pass. Why? Because assertion results giving this QTP tutorials. So where it will check? It will check into this response data only because I have saved the response data as a string. So it will verify QTP tutorials. It is saying right. QTP tutorials. So it got a find this QTP tutorials. If I am giving some numbers, some invalid, let's see how it will. Uh, Display the result. Just click on this. run. See, it is giving this. This is a failure. Why? Because not valid a string. I'm giving us not val a valid string. It is giving us not a valid string. Okay. Means this Q two 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 thirty four is not available in that particular response, which is storing under string variable. So this one you can add from assertion, bean cell assertion. So coming to 3.1, JMeter 3.1, they have removed BSF assertion. This is removed in Apache JMeter 3.1. Okay. And uh, when coming to log dot error, I am giving log dot in for it. So JMeter is giving different uh, logger methods also. You can see here. It's a class logger, and it is giving the methods as debug. It's a log. You debug 
reality event you can debug the script and uh, category separator errors i am using error priority event fatal error get child logger get children info so is debug enable so everything is giving so set targets okay set priority also you can set here so warning you can provide warning is giving different different logger details it is giving the code also so which one you have to pass here parameter message and throwable and uh, it, it is given the context methods also context emitter context method you can use this one hold context for a thread generated by jmeter context service this class is not a thread safe it is only intended for use within the single thread okay for you want to use for single thread you can use it is giving different gives access to the jmeter variable for current thread for current thread which jm variables i am using coming to url parameters i am using right so you can use this one jmeter variables give access to jmeter variable for current thread Click this one. Public emitter variables. Get variables. Give access to the emitter variables for current. A pointer to the emitter variables to return emitter variables. So like this, uh, you can use the emitter variables, okay. and it is giving the different variables also. What are the variables and methods and description? Get the value of a variable and coerce it to the string. See, if you are using get method, string key. In here you need to pass the key. Get iteration, get iterator. Everything it will give you. And coming to bean shell scripting, you can learn from bean shell website here, bean shell dot org. From here you can learn. Click on docs, it will give you HTML everything. Everything it is upgrade, so now in examples. So everything you can you can download from Bean Shell. This is just like a notepad, it will give you the details. It will look like a notepad. So everything it is it will give you the details. You can go through online HTML one long page PDF versions. Everything you can use this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my videos. Okay. In order to get more knowledge on JMeter. Okay. Thank you. Please provide your comments on this video.